Shamai, something a bit different today. It's a quick unboxing and look, first look at yeah, it's not a ukulele box. I have done one of these before. Um, right, we'll get into it and I'll explain more as we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, right, sorry, the whole box sort of slid off the desk. Right, it is, have I got this right, the right way around? Yeah, it's another tang drum or tank drum. Um, I've used these in school for a number of years now. This one, I was contacted actually a few months ago by a lovely guy called Christian. Um, and it's from this company, Harmonic Star. Um, they're, I think, from what I can gather, they're a relatively new company um, who have got into making tongue drums or tank drums. Um, but they're a little bit different from some of the other tongue drums that you see. Okay, and this is why I said, yes, please send me one to review. Um, so, first of all, right, there's nothing. Got a pretty box, nothing more in there. And then we've got the drum itself. Now, the reason these are a little bit different to um, a lot of the tongue drums and tank drums you see, especially on Amazon, um, is that this seems to be a company just focusing on this. Um, you see a lot of the other tongue drums, especially the ones coming sort of generically from China. There's nothing wrong with them, but they're all pretty much the same and they're all being sold by distributors who sell lots of other musical instruments. Not these guys, they seem to be focusing on this. I'm quite excited actually. It looks different um, to the ones you see. Right, there's nothing in that little pouch. Different. I quite like this, it's, it is a little bit padded. Here we go. Ooh, now I have seen pictures of this because I've been on their website. I'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. So, yeah, nice little padded case, very handy with, it's quite nice actually, embroidered Harmonic Star logo. Okay, so the drum itself, it looks different straight away. It's got really, really nice sort of leaf tongues. This is why they're called tongue drums. Okay, these little bits here are the tongues, all right? Um, I'm just having a really good look. Okay, so the tongues on the top are sort of leaf shape. All the way round, I'm hoping the camera will pick that up. All right, there's a really nice leaf pattern, maybe sycamore, and then you've got the uh, logo for there. Um, this is a smaller one. I want to say 10 inch, I will check and I will put that on the screen, the actual size of this. Okay, so underneath, we go that way, uh, designed in Australia, manufactured in China. As I got contacted a couple of months ago, we've had a few issues getting this to me because obviously Australia is quite a long way um, from Wales. So let's dive in to see yeah how do you get these out i don't want to break anything hang on ah easy in the end so you can see all right these are steel all right um underneath is hollow again it's got these little feet little rubber feet that's important because you don't want one of these sitting on a hard surface. You get the best harmonic resonance off them when they're on something softer, if they're on your lap, okay? So we've got, let's have a quick look at this. One, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven actual tongues. So that means eleven different notes. All right, we will listen to it in a minute. Let's see what's in the bag of goodies. So, Christian contacted me, could they send me one of these? And as I said, I've been using these for a number of years in school. So I said, yes, please do send them along. And I will be taking this one into school as well. 
Um, but what really struck me about this company compared to lots of the others that you see selling tank drums is they've put a lot of work into their website and have produced loads and loads of tutorials, actual video tutorials to show you how to play, all right? Which is really handy and it's something I may well use in school. So we've got two little rubber beaters. We have got, what else? I can hear my voice bouncing off the drum. Uh, nice little cleaning rag, lovely jubbly. Um, these are, I think, if I got these right, these are finger beaters. All right, I'm not gonna mess around with those too much today. Uh, what else have we got in here? Little stick holder, so you can put your sticks and rest them. Yep, yeah, we've got an escape beat. Uh, a few more finger beaters. And then I'm assuming this might go with their educational um, tutorials and lessons and things. It's a, let's have a look, manual and songbook. Okay, I've got slightly different lights on, so I'm not sure how well that's picking up. So, manual and songbook, sign up for an extra six months warranty. All right, these are available on their website and on Amazon. Uh, not in the UK at the minute, but Amazon US, I think. Uh, manual and songbook. And it's got quite a lot of information in there, actually. Uh, telling you what's in the box. Well, there are, look, table of contents. There's quite a fair bit of info on there. Uh, Mary and Little Lamb, Michael Rowe, The Boat to Shore. Uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star. We like that. Uh, Ode to Joy. So yeah, you can do a bit of Beethoven um, and so on. There's, yeah, there's a lot of info in there. So quite impressive stuff with what comes with it. The important bit. We need to hear it. So I'm just clearing the decks here for a minute. So I don't know what key this is in. What? Why key? Um, I've got a few other tank drums. My Kosmoski drums. I will do a comparison, actually. Um, but my Kosmoski drums are the original ones I had from Russia. They are all in um, almost modes. All right, they're not in traditional major keys. The horse tongue drum I've got, I believe, is in C. I don't know what this one is. So first of all, I'm just going to hit, well, actually, first of all, what I'm gonna try and do is put this, there's a, I got a camera up here, I'm gonna see, I don't know how well this will work. Give me one second just to set things up a bit more to play. Right, with any luck, this should sound okay. We may get another camera shot off it, we shall see. So, the harmonic star, tongue drum. Let's have a listen. <laughs> okay, first of all, how on earth am I sort of getting those in the right order? There are numbers on here, all right? Um, so all I did then was literally play the numbers. It is some kind of a major scale. Um, I don't know if I've got a tune there with me a minute. I'll be back. got perfect pitch I got quite good relative pitch and for some reason I was thinking that sounds like a D and I was correct so the first note which is a one is a D okay there is an octave above that because there's a one but with a little dot 
All right, so they are. Now then, there is a six. You get the idea. Okay, so first impressions, it's a lovely looking drum, really is, all right? Um, I do really like the detail that has gone into this. There's obviously been a lot of thought process, okay? Um, it feels really nice. There seems to be quite a, a tough coating on here. Now, I can imagine this being used by a lot of nursery teachers, you know, really, really young children. Um, and some of the tongue drums have stickers on to tell you what the notes are, either by the letters or the numbers. Um, this one is painted on, so I can imagine that being a really good feature, especially for little children. I will, I will do a comparison. My Kosmoski ones have actually they're engraved, but that's they're a different, different type of thing. So, it's got its numbers. It feels nice. It's nice looking. To my ear. Ear, sorry, I'm Welsh. Ear, you. That sounds pretty much in tune. Uh, if I go to a, a, a D, so it should be an A. Hang on. Yeah, the fifth is pretty much in tune as well. I think what I will do at some point, I'll get a clip on tune and see exactly how spot on it is. But to me, that sounds pretty much in tune. <laughs> I hadn't just gone random then. Um, I was trying to get this microphone turned up a little bit for you to get the absolute best sound off it. Okay, so we know the rubber mallets work. Lovely, I do. Um, how do I use these in school? Some of the children uh, use them to compose and be creative because the beauty of these is very difficult to play things wrong. Um, I find these fantastic for some of the um, additional learning children. So maybe um, they might be having some kind of a panic attack or they may be having a meltdown and tongue drum is one of the most calming things. All right, they're absolutely brilliant for that. So rubber mallets work beautifully. Um, I'm not an expert with these at all. I enjoy playing them. There is a way of playing them without using any mallet. All right, it's basically using your actual hands. I find using my thumb the best, um, but again, that's something maybe I'll look into a little bit more of different techniques on these. The other thing I wanted to test with these is these type of mallets. Um, I find these fantastic for making a really mellow sound. Um, and I would, the only company I see who sell the mallets like this are Kosmoski, all right? Um, the one thing I would say to any tank drum or tank drum producer, consider changing to these mallets, all right? You'll hear the difference now. Okay, if I go back to the rubber mallet. There's nothing wrong with these rubber mallets. I just think you get a really nice mellow sound with these ones. 
Okay, so this is the harmonic star steel tongue drum or tank drum. Um, lovely. I've got to say, it, it sounds really nice. The company who are producing them seem to be putting a lot of thought into actually using them and producing videos are going to be very helpful either if you want to learn yourself or in fact if you're a teacher using these in school um you know you can have um students have either a printout of what these are or even use the videos to learn you know whether they've got a tablet or they're sitting in front of a computer all right um i'm going to look into them a bit more but i I had a quick look at the videos when Christian first contacted me and I thought, yeah, that's a really nice idea. I'm only having a very, very quick look at the book because obviously this is the first time I've seen it. Straight away, exercises and they are um, encouraging you to use both hands and showing which um, notes you should use with your left hand and your right hand. <laughs> right okay as i said i am um, i've literally opened this a few minutes ago let's have a little look it is definitely now i've looked at the book i can see it's all written in d major all right so it is definitely a d major scale which makes it interesting because my horse tongue drum is in a c major and as i said earlier my kosmoski tongue drums are in modes rather than major scales so Telling me put your tongue away is when I'm concentrating. Okay, um, very easy. Now, obviously, that was an easy one, but what I quite like about the book here, oh, I think that's gonna catch the light too much. Um, I mentioned a moment ago left and right hands, and they got different colours telling you basically which side the uh, leaves are to get the correct notes. the harmonic star um steel tongue drum thank you very much for sending this to me um i am very impressed as a teacher i think this is these are great learning tools but i there are little things with this one that i particularly like which are going to sort of make it more young child proof than some of the others um i absolutely love the way they've set out the tutorials on um, their YouTube channel and I know they are a really new company out there you know they haven't got very many views for what the amount of work they've put in so I will pop links to all of those in the description below same way as I'll pop a link um, to where you can buy this from so there we go I know it's not a ukulele um, but I've got to admit I do enjoy a nice tongue drum and for any teachers, these are a really, really good learning tool. So as always, if you've got a comment or a question, please feel free, leave it below. Give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.